easydigitals.com, Photoshop backgrounds and templates for sports photographers. Today, I want to show you how to customize this powder blast set, which is really awesome and is going to save you a ton of time. Powder shoots can be very time consuming and a big mess. And this is an awesome set that's going to totally blow your mind when you start adding photos to it. So what we're, when we're finished, we're going to have something that's going to look similar to this. Um, when it first started out, this is the photo that we had and I sent it to have the background removed to retouch up. And this is what they sent me back. I also have tutorials that show you how to remove the background yourself if you want to do it yourself. And I will link to some of those tutorials here. Then I did some dodging and burning and worked on the photo a little bit with some tools. And I also have some tutorials on that, which I'll link to, but I'm not going to get into that right now because I just want to show you how this set works. I also added a blur to the ball, which I can show you how to do that later too. I have shown that before, but I can put a link to that type of a tutorial in, in here too. So I'm going to take this photo and I'm going to add it to my template, which is right here. This is the template that you're going to get when you purchase the set and it has all types of layers. We have all types of adjustment layers that you can turn off and on and see how it looks with your photo until you can get it just perfect. We have these layers that change the color of the powder that you can play with. And we have, I have a silhouette in here that you would turn off once you add your player. We have some text that you can change. You can change the color, the font. And we have, these are the back right and left background colors. And then we have all these powder layers that you can turn off and on and to get the perfect look. And you can also change the color of the background right here. So it's got all types of layers and you could just make this very different every time you use it. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I have my background up here and I'm going to add my player. So the first thing I wanna do is come over to my layer that says your photo here and select that one. And then I'm going to come over to my player. I'm going to go ahead and drag this out, grab these two thumbnails by pressing shift and selecting them both. And then I'm just going to drag it into my template. Now I can move this off to the side or close it. Okay. So I have my player in here and he's a little bit too small. So I'm going to turn off my silhouette and I'm going to select my two. I still have my two layers selected. So I'm going to come up to my transform tool and I'm just going to drag it out to make it bigger. If it goes off the screen and you can't grab the little corner anymore, you can press control zero and it will show you the little corner. So I'm going to press enter to hide his legs. We're just going to take this mask off of the silhouette and drag it up to my player. So now his legs are hidden and it looks like he's coming out of the powder. So one thing you can do with this mask is you can adjust it a little bit further and customize it. So if, as long as I have the white selected here, it's going to show a little bit more of his legs and you can change the opacity so that it doesn't come off quite, so, you know, a lot at a time. And now, as you can see, it's revealing more of his legs. So you can keep adjusting this until it's how you want it to look. And as you can see, if you press alt and then the mask, you can see how it changed the mask. So we have a little bit of smoke in the front and you can turn that off and on. And it just brings a little bit of like powder or smoky look to the sides and the bottom if you have them on. So you just can decide if you want to have that effect on. And then we have colors here. So this is the background colors. So if I double click this, it's for the right side, this box will pop up and then I can change the color. So it's changing the background color. And let's just say I want it like an orangish, like our sample. And let's say I want it to increase the saturation and I want it to be kind of orange, like around here. So that's how you change that. And it's the exact same with the other side. So this side, you double click this, and then you change this, um, sorry, you change the color. Another thing you can do with these masks is you can adjust them just like we did with the powder here or with hiding the legs. You can change the color of these. 
So like if I wanted it to reveal more of the blue over here behind his head, I could come over here and mask on the mask and change this. See how the orange is showing up more by changing that. So that's, that's what the background. And then if you want to then to change the color of what's in front of the feet, you would come over here and do, um, let me show you this, how that you can read this in front of feet. This is the right side. So I'm going to double click this one and I'm going to change it to orange because it was red before. And you can do the same thing with the left. You can change it to whatever color you want. So let me close that out. Another thing you can do is you can come down to these powder layers and there's several of them that are off. So you can turn them off and on until you get the look that you want. Okay, something I wanna show you about these powder layers is that if you double click it, this is the powder feet layer. If you double click it, you get this box up. And what, what you can do with this is you can take your alt key and you can separate this little triangle and it makes it more see-through the like the it makes the white disappear but you have to press down the alt key because if you do them together it, it just it, it really messes it up and it doesn't look good but if you press your alt key and separate this then it takes the white away as much as you want it to and the same applies to this side and i've already got this set up that it's removed a lot of the darkness. So you can play with these, oops, press the shift, I mean the alt, and then move these around to adjust how your, how your powder looks. And it's called the blend if gray. And then, so you adjust these, just play with them and see how they uh, change the way your powder looks. Okay, and also this background layer here, it's gray. But if it's off, then it's white because it's changing based on these other options. Another thing that you can do is you can turn off the layers that have the powder mask and you can turn on the option to color the entire background. And then you can adjust those sliders and you can just have the whole background, just one color. So, but what we would need to do is also do the same thing with the feet layers. So I come up here, I turn off these two feet layers and I turn on color entire background and then I change it to like the same color. The way you change the text is you will come over to your type tool, you'll select the text and you can change it to any word you want or you can turn it off if you don't wanna use it. So you can turn it off or you could change it to like, um, so I'm changing it to suns and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna press shift alt and I'm gonna drag this corner down and it's gonna make the whole thing bigger right from the center. Press enter. Then I'm gonna come over to my type tool again and I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna change it to another color and this actually doesn't look that great because um, I changed the background but I just want to show you how to change everything same same exact way to change this layer and you can change the text to say something else and you can change the color I'm going to turn those off and let's go back up here and turn these back on so it looks more like how we uh, planned on it looking from the beginning and the left color, we're gonna change that to a darker blue. And we're gonna change the background and we're gonna add that. So now it looks more like how we intended it to look. And for this one, I even changed the basketball color. I added a hue saturation, right clicked, create clipping mask, and I just adjusted the color so that it would be um, more of a orange like that.